Hello guys, it's Luke here and today we're going to be looking at question one, paper one on the January 2013 Further Mathematics Level 2 AQA paper. And I'll start off by just reading the question. So the line y equals mx plus c passes through the point for free. It is parallel to the line y equals 5x plus 6. Work out the values of m and c. Now I'd like to start off by just saying this question is three marks and for the starting question that is not too bad at all and dealing with what we have we have a small amount of information and we are required to find two values so those are the facts there now what I would start off by doing is by listing the, the important information that's given so the first if I can just quickly underline it uh, the line that we want to find the, the values for um, this is a little bit more difficult than I thought. Passes through the point. Ooh. Passes through the point for free. Okay. Now this is a, this is important as well. So the second part, it is parallel to the line. So that is also important to the line y equals five x plus six, as poorly underlined here we have two key pieces of information in order in order to find our m and our c value we have to use them now from previous lessons we've found that the if we have two lines say hang on a minute if i can just grab a line we have we've got two sets of axes here we've got an x and we have a y axis okay and we have say the line y equals x going through here with a gradient of 1 and we have the line y equals x plus 2 okay now in previous lessons we would have learned that the gradients for these two lines are exactly equal the in other words the m's are equal so in this example being parallel we should apply what we've learned in previous lessons here to this so we can assume that because the two lines are parallel, therefore the gradients are equal. So m's, the m value for the line is equal to five as well. Like so, okay? And of course you can write that and explain it uh, with little bullet points, etc., explaining how you got to the answer. Or you can illustrate it using a graph like myself. So looking at now the y-intercept, the c-value, and of course looking at linear equations, you, you would have seen the significance of this point. And now if you, just to make that clear, the c-value, for those who you don't know what it is, uh, is the y-intercept, and that means it is the point on the line that crosses the y-axis at the point x equals zero. So in other words, this is a y-intercept as well as this. And of course, the y-intercept occurs at a different uh, different point on the y-axis for different uh, different lines and different curves etc. So in order to find our c-value we need to use the piece of information that says that the line passes through the point for free. Now what this means is that the point for free satisfies the equation of y equals 5x plus c. Okay. Now, so what we do is, um, because it satisfies it and it, it is correct, we can substitute the coordinates into the into the line, meaning that y is three, and we substitute x is four, and then we add the c, the constant, the y-intercept, if you like. So by simplifying just below that, substituting twenty from both sides, three minus twenty, negative seventeen and then we have c on its own. Now this allows us to find our c value on its own and we can write that as such. So our m is five and our c is minus 17. So we can write then our equation underneath, y equals five x minus 17. And that of course is the key information here where well, m is five, c is minus 17. So we can, we can write those in here 
of course poorly written uh, as usual with my my new my new tablet and everything hopefully the uh, the quality of the writing gets better guys and uh, i'll look forward to helping you with the next question